Welcome to another episode of Mid-Island Custom Diecast. Today we will be restoring and customizing a Toyota Supra from Matchbox. Let's take a look at these Toyota Supras on the turntable. See I've got two matching uh, bodies. One has a red and black Toyota Racing livery with the crane cams decal on the back. The other one uh, has uh, blue stripes on the hood with Supra on the side. We will take bits and pieces from each of these and combine it into one uh, acceptable car. Now we've got them off the turntable. We'll take a good look at the white Supra with the blue and black decals. You see the hatch opens and the tires are really rough on this one. Front end has some nice detail on the base. And now we get to opening the car up. On the, the white, blue and black one, the post in the front was really mangled. So I took the burr tool on the Dremel and just gave myself a nice little spot in the middle to get the drill bit into. Now we'll take the drill bit and just knock off the edge of the post. And take my handy dandy screwdriver and pop the base right off. Now the it's one post in the back and it just clips on to the back of the car. We'll take a look at the interior which has the tail lights built in and the glass which is holding the hatch, the rear hatch in, is held in by two small posts on the roof. So we'll take the big drill bit and just knock the edges off of that. and it pops right out. Now we'll take the, I believe it's a one and a half millimeter drill bit, and we'll just drill that into the post. And now we're taking the burr tool on the Dremel and just Flattening out the post and taking the burrs off around the edges. Now I'll take a little 3-in-1 all-purpose oil, dab that on the post, take the tap and put some threads in there for a 256 button head screw. Once we got the screw in place, we will take the 1850 Super D Solver paint stripper and pour that over the two cars. And I'll take my dedicated paint stripping paintbrush and just make sure that that stripper is on all the different surfaces, front, back, top inside outside now we got the bodies out of the stripper and we will go to work with the wire brush on my Dremel and knock out that oxidation and any leftover paint uh, from the nooks and crannies Now I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to take the dental pick and just pick out any a little bit of leftover paint that's in the, the door lines, the panel lines, and uh, get it ready for priming. Thank you. 
And now we will move over to the paint booth. Give it a couple of coats of the Tamiya Fine White Primer. And once we've given the primer a nice chance to dry, we will cover it in a Duplicolor Auto Spray that I picked up from the hardware store in a, I can't remember, it was a white Toyota color anyway. Now we've given the body a nice chance to dry, we're going to tape off the, I guess you call them accent lines, rubber panel lines on the side of the car, and I've chosen to do them with a Sharpie, and I think it came out pretty good. Now onto the base, take the Tamiya Chrome Silver and I'm just going to color in all the undercarriage exhaust lines, drive shaft, differential, all those little bits and pieces just to give it some detail underneath. Now these uh, 3D printed wheels I picked up from Palm64, his online store on Shapeways. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll give it a little bit of the Tamiya Fine White Primer. And we paint it on the Tamiya Chrome Silver again. Give it a more natural look. And somewhere along the way, I lost all of the footage of me fitting the 3D printed tires and then switching to the monoblock tires. So we'll save that for the reveal. Let's have a look at what we started with. And where we got to. See, I painted in the tail lights, shined up that windshield a little bit. Um, I'm just watching a video on how to de yellow windshields, so I think I might take it apart and give that a shot. Uh, I got the monoblock tires on the 3D printed rims painted in the rubber accents around the windows. I think it turned out pretty well. Quick reminder of the 75 Stingray build-off coming up on the 18th of August. And just before I sign off, we'll have a few glamour shots. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.